Welcome back. Well, uh, the Titan management tells the NBC TV 18 that it is confident of turning EBIT positive in all emerging businesses by the end of FI27. My co-anchor Manglam did catch up with the company's MD and CEO of the watches, wearables and eye care business to discuss their growth outlook. Listen in to an excerpt of that exclusive conversation. I think competitive intensity in jewellery has always been high because it's an unorganized market and large number of players. It's also a huge category, right? Uh, it's about 500 to 550,000 crores. And obviously, it's going to attract more and more players. But for us, we are still, uh, you know, single digit, high single digit growth uh, market share. We are only at about 8% market share. So the headroom is huge. Uh, both in terms of share gain as well as if I look at the dispersion of segments, be it markets as well as maybe different segments, be it high value studded, be it wedding, uh, regional markets. So the opportunity for us is huge, including the small town opportunity. Middle India is a huge uh, base in India. There are 500 towns in the 1 lakh to 1 million population strata. And we are present in only about 180 of those. Uh, while we don't know if all 500 towns will ever get ready, but the headroom again offers a very large opportunity for us. So all in all, I would say the share gain opportunity is so huge that even if five, six more big players or competitors come in, there's opportunity for everyone. So to that extent, say over the next couple of years, what would your store rollout plan B and uh, what's your aspiration here? Over the next three years, we see, you know, easily we can add about 100, 100 plus stores in Tanish. We can add about uh, 150 to 200 stores in uh, Mia and certainly 100 plus uh, to 150 stores in uh, Carrot Lane. Zoya also, there's an opportunity, but there we are not looking at large number of stores. So in totality, the opportunity to add three, four hundred stores is very comfortable. One of the concerns that the analysts had, uh, you know, was the ability for the company to grow its margins from current levels. In fact, uh, 12 to 13 percent was the guidance saying that over the next uh, couple of years, it may be at the lower end of that space itself. So should one believe that these issues right now are structural or are there levers to improve them further from here? I think at an overall domestic uh, jewellery business, we shared that EBIT margins would be anchored around the 12% mark. And uh, while there will be ups and downs quarter to quarter, but on an annualized basis, that's where we hope to. I don't know about growing the margins. Yes, with a certain operating leverage, it can grow. But in the medium term, we expect it to be around the 12%. Mark. You know, Ajay, I have to ask you this. Um, Tanishk? strong brand, mother brand when it comes to the jewellery business. But a lot of people are now looking at jewellery as adornment, so which is why you all, uh, you know, spawned other brands and scaling that up as well. If I had to look at one of your group companies, Trent, they, you know, got a big upsurge in the value category with Zudio. So is there a potential for Zudioization of jewellery in uh, the Titan business? Good question. Um... Perhaps there can be, um, but the difference, I guess, between the two categories is that uh, there is a certain price sensitivity when it comes to buying garments and maybe other categories. In jewellery, there is a mix of both adornment and investment value. It's not one or the other. Uh, in terms of sheer number of buyers, uh, we do see good opportunities even within Tanishk as well as Carrot Lane and Mia adding to large number of buyers. So from a buyer base, yes. But because the value of gold and diamonds is so high, and gold is also going up, the total value turnover uh, you know, may not follow the same trajectory like that might happen in garments. But uh, you're right that in the sub-100,000 space, large number of buyers can come into our category, and uh, we should look at that opportunity. Since there are a lot of players, do you think it makes sense for now Titan to make a move there, maybe acquire some people out there, or maybe, you know, just organically start and grow in that part of the business. I think the competitive intensity is not as strong there. There are some new players which have come in. The competitive intensity in the mainstream business is much larger. In the sub-100,000 studied space, I think it's a matter of growing the category. 
and as more and more players come in there many more millions of customers can come there and we have three brands which play strongly amongst maybe a cluster of eight or nine brands which might be existing there so i think right now we don't need to add more brands there as much as allowing organic growth to happen and we are doing that through adding significant number of stores and collections are you comfortable with the growth rate at which uh, carrot lane is as of fy24 because if i look at it you know fy21 was a seven sub 700 crore business that after turned into 1200 crores that grew to 2200 crores so the cagr between fy21 and fy23 has been a lot more than what it was in fy24 so i just wanted to understand the sustainable growth rate for a company like carrot lane so fy24 uh, carrot lane grew at 34% yes and uh, while the cagr over the last 5 years is around 47% so yes comparatively but the base has also gone up now last year there was a certain significant pressure that i think started coming in uh, maybe post uh, diwali and therefore certain growth rates in many discretionary categories came under pressure and uh, in the studied space i think the customer segment that was operating especially in this uh, sub 100000 has come under some amount of economic sentiment related issues uh, but i think what is a, what is an appropriate cagr on a small base you can show a cagr of 40 50% but at the base at which carrot lane is i think 30 to 35% cagr is good uh, i don't think the market is growing at that rate so it's a good good opportunity all right 30 to 35% cagr for the carrot lane business along with 11, 12% margins for the entire jewelry business growing at around 15 to 20% compounding over the next three years. That's uh, the course of action for Titan going from here. Speaking about uh, a huge headroom for market share gains is where at 